Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. And guys, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, guys. It really helps the channel. It gets me pushed up in the rankings. Like 50% of you still are still not subscribed to my channel, guys. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, we have plenty of new people coming into the VeChain ecosystem, into the VeChain family. And I want this to be the one-stop shop for them. I got my hot tea and honey lot there loaded ready to go. Let's get right into the show, right into the VJ news. So looks like the price today here, uh, we are just below three cents, uh, 2.029 here. Uh, looks like we briefly tapped the three cent mark here. Looks like some whales had some sell orders and we were quickly rejected at that three cent mark, but that's okay. You know, we've broken three cents before. And, uh, you know, we're just looking to break that support one more time. I think that Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, are really, really doing well, especially Ethereum breaking new all time highs yesterday. Hopefully those profits can start to leak into altcoins like they normally do. Uh, don't forget, <clears throat> a lot of people got rich off of Dogecoin. A lot of people had billions of Dogecoin and it went up, you know, quite significantly. So hopefully they'll come back on and dust off their ledgers and try to make more profit elsewhere. And the best place to make profit is hopefully here in the VChain ecosystem. Big community. We're actually doing real things, have a real blockchain. Um, and uh, yeah, it's exciting. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Prices go up and down. But what we focus on is real world utility. Moving on. Yesterday, we burned about 5.9 million VTHO. Today, we are burning about 6.5 million VTHO. Those VTHO numbers are definitely going to move up. Uh, the POA testnet has been launched, and, you know, they have raised gas limits. We're going to talk about that here in a second, uh, gearing up for hopefully a massive integration with some of these projects that we've been working on. But we'll get to that later. All right, so... We have Eisenreich here. Let's go ahead and give this man a follow here. Uh, we were mentioned in another article in the China News um, here. Pretty awesome. Blockchain provides us with technical foundation needs needed to create effective solutions. BMW's verified digital passport based on blockchain eliminates mile count fraud and maintains fairness in used car transactions. This is just one of the many, 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 many use cases of the VeChain Thor blockchain. Once we get this, once we start getting into tracking and tracing, you know, small car parts, the sky is the limit. I mean, you know, that in and of itself is a multi-billion dollar industry there, just car parts. Now we can trace that. We could also trace, you know, maintenance, kind of like Carfax, but a decentralized Carfax. That's amazing. And, you know, pr putting the trust back into the hands of the user uh, because people do sell junk cars and lie about mileage and all that. So this is awesome, guys. Shout out to Eisenreich. Let's go ahead and give him a follow. Moving on. All right. We've got Boosted Yoda here. Uh, so let's go ahead and give uh, this person a follow. They post, you wanted a faster VeChain, VET. How about 30x faster? The test neck numbers per block at full speed. So we have, uh, you know, <laughs> a lot of gas. We have over 500, 540,000 VETHO paid. And we have about 375,000 VETHO burned, about 70%. 100 blocks. 16 minutes to burn daily VTHO generation, about 3.24 billion, 3 billion VTHO per day, 10 days to burn the entire VTHO supply. Now, that's at maximum capacity. Obviously, it's going to take a, a long time for that to reach maximum capacity, but we are seeing speed increases with this proof of authority 2.0, which will definitely lead to more and more companies being onboarded, okay? Sonny Lewis said, we are waiting for POA 2.0 to be fully released before a lot of these companies that we've heard about uh, are going to get integrated with the VeChain Thor blockchain. 
So uh, the gas limit of VeChain testnet is being raised. Uh, this is just a testnet, guys. So, you know, a lot of people are making a big ado about this. But, you know, we have to test out all the kinks. We have to crank it up. We have to get all these transactions on the testnet so that we can see where our limits are and where we need to work. Shout out to the VeChain devs. You guys are amazing. Keep up the great work. I mean, um, you guys are the unsung heroes of the VeChain Thor ecosystem, and we wouldn't be here without you. Keep up the great work. Don't lose the faith. I know there's been some FUD in the community recently. People are hating. Um, and you know what? I just go back to here. You know, I keep saying it every time. You know, people are so uh, short-sighted. Guys, there was FUD back here, okay, at point zero zero two. The FUD was most brutal up here, like right here, the FUD was most brutal, which doesn't make any sense because we already pumped. So if you know if there was FUD down here, if there was FUD up here, if there was FUD the most brutal over here, you know for sure that there's going to be FUD up here, there's going to be FUD all the way up here, all the way, the farther and farther we go up. So we have to remain even keeled we have to remain with our eye on the prize and uh thank you again to all the v chain devs out there keep up the great work you're doing god's work let's move on <clears throat> we have v chain smarter contracts news now we talked about smarter contracts a couple of months ago um you know helping v chain build smart contracts and decentralized applications on the blockchain ledger however uh, we have expanded this partnership. Elder Research, a global leader in AI and data science, has signed a strategic partnership with Smarter Contracts that will combine blockchain AI to enhance the features of patent pending data privacy platform Pulse. Okay. So, Smarter Contract and Elder Research is working with Pulse. Now, how is this uh, uh, involved with VeChain? So let's take a look here. Smarter Contracts is going through its seed round and we're looking for angel investors to take our blockchain AI platform Pulse to the next level. So hopefully we are using, so uh, yeah. So they have a new platform, Pulse. Smarter Contracts is looking for angel investors to to support that. We are using VeChain official and have a contract in place with a multi-billion dollar turnover company. Get in touch, guys. So we already have the VeChain blockchain integration. We just need uh, angel investors. Some of you whales, I know what there's at least one whale that watches my, my videos. Okay, you can't hide for long, Mr. Whale. I know you. I know you're sitting there listening. All right. Let's go. Become an angel investor. Let's get this going. Let's get the Visa Chain ecosystem booming. All right. And and go ahead and donate to my Patreon if you haven't yet. If you're a whale and you're sitting here with millions of dollars and you haven't donated to my Patreon yet, what are you doing? Come on. Hit the link down below. And hit the like button. And hit the subscribe button. Mr. Whale. One day I'm gonna be a whale too. And then we could all you know, have a party on my private island, and uh, I'll invite all my whale friends and all my V family. And, you know, I'm going to be having tea and crumpets and lots of weed. Anyway, moving on. I hope I don't get demonetized for saying that. Uh, So, guys, I wanted to talk about hacking. Hacking token, all right? This, this is for later. Guys, hacking token has been doing the absolute dash, lately in the last 24 hours is up 30 percent in the last 14 days is up 100 percent in the last 14 days it recently broke all time highs guys absolutely crazy hacking token is the the big flavor of the week i'm telling you that right now we did a showcase when hacking token first came out and we're going to do a little bit of a showcase now they have had Major improvements. We talked about their new VPN that you can get for free if you're a Hacking Club member. You have to stake Hacking Token uh, to become a Hacking Club member. And they have now released a new protocol. We'll get to that in a second. Let's take a look at what they've been doing. If you don't know what Hacking Token is, if you don't know what Hacking Token is, let me explain it real quick here. So um, we're going to go here. So hacking in a nutshell, all right? Just real quick, we're gonna go over hacking um, for for the noobs. So hacking was founded in 2017, 
in Ukraine by security specialists to deliver cybersecurity solutions to companies and individuals making histories of success. From the very beginning, we've been providing security and privacy as human rights. Now with about 300 successful, more than that now, successful cases of proving our services and businesses, including bug bounty programs, penetration testing. They have a new VPN out as well. They're doing great things. Now, hacking is a, uh, a VeChain token. So they are run on the VeChain Thor blockchain. They do blockchain security. Uh, they audit smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. They do uh, they do penetration testing, security assessments. They create products such as a VPN, which you can get for free. If you're a Hacking Club member, um, you have to stake. We're not going to get into that right now, but uh, I'll do another showcase on hacking uh, because they are literally doing the dash right now. Absolutely crazy. All right, so. They have a new product out called HAPI, and this is on-chain cybersecurity for DeFi pro for DeFi projects. I think that this is amazing because right now DeFi is the wild, wild rest. You know, we have a lot of food coins out there that you know are literally copy paste of other coins and have severe security uh, security uh, you know. Issues, issues. I don't know why I couldn't say that. So uh, let's take a look here. Part one teaser launching DeFi protocol is similar to launching a rocket. Uh, after the rocket takes off, you have a minimal tool set to uh, influence its uh, flight. You can send commands and even update the software. However, any unforeseen circumstances can lead to disaster. There's no way of influencing it. You become a passive uh, observer. DeFi is similar to this in many ways. You create code, conduct security audit, launch your smart contract into space, <laughs> and start praying that everything goes to plan. Here comes HAPI, a new product that enters the Hacking Foundation, a leading security consulting company uh, specialized in blockchain security. It is a special module for these rockets, allowing you to fix vulnerabilities on the fly it provides an opportunity to employ a rescue team to patch the hole in the rocket so cybersecurity risks uh in DeFi, there's a lot of them we're not gonna you know go into all that um but you know they've been doing the dash guys they've been really really uh, working hard again. They released a VPN not too long ago, and now we have a, si a real on-chain protocol that can help oracles. That can help you know get the prices where they need to go um, and make sure that these smart contracts are working correctly. So, <clears throat> introducing HAPI on-chain cybersecurity protocol. HAPI is a set of cross-chain smart contracts that are embedded into the DeFi products that allow them to reach a new security level. Also, HAPI's oracleizing and DAO system delivers a software as a service to the DeFi environment that prevents hack, hack attempts. So we have the centralized exchange API and we have the Oracle for the centralized exchange. This goes into HAPI smart contract, okay? And then um, the HAPI module looks to see if it's correct. The DeFi smart contract sends it out. So if a hacker tries to come in and you know exploit the uh, the smart contract in any way, it looks like the hack the HAPI mo module blocks the transaction. Okay, so the HAPI decentralized autonomous organization that's what a DAO is. Um, handles the smart contract and it puts it in like this box here to make sure that everything is checked and balanced okay guys so i'm pretty sure that you know <laughs> uh bread bread garlic house bread garlic house or somebody else in the v chain ecosystem can explain this better than i can but i get the gist of it we definitely need this um and uh let's take a look here this is awesome as well uh, the HAPI example use case, blocking the movement and stolen coins between DeFi and exchanges. Let's say a hacker breaks into the exchange's hot wallet and transfers the fund out of the exchange. This, the exchange sends the address coins details immediately to HAPI. 
Every exchange connected to the HAPI receives this information almost instantly and can block these transactions until the situation is resolved. Uh, we will be built. They will be built for popular blockchains, Ethereum, VeChain, Polkadot. All DeFi projects substantially increase their security if they add the HAPI. So there's a lot of different ways this could be used, guys. Absolutely amazing. Hacking Token is seriously doing the dash. If you hadn't heard of them, go ahead and look into them more. I'm not telling you to buy. I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. But uh, you know they are going places. So. After analyzing a lot of smart contracts and hacker attacks by using the best financial world practices, we've prepared a list of these methods and data, which are required by DeFi at this current stage. We are building a protocol that will improve the security of decentralized apps, as well as centralized ones, only using required data analyzed in advance. This is the way. Hack it, token, baby, for the win. Thank you. Shout out to all the devs, man. You make this community great. You guys come up. You guys are super smart way smarter than me and you know you guys are trying to make the world a better place one protocol at a time they they have said someone has said someone prominent who i can't remember and i want you guys to remember this you know before we get into the end of this video the world's most dangerous men will not carry guns they will write code I'll leave you with that. Thank you to our wonderful Patreon subscribers. AJ, Brett Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, America Home Remedies.com, The Furline, Jeffrey, Ethan, Marilyn Crypto, Boost Wayne, Fr Brady Adams, Fruz Din, Joe Jimenez, Kyle Bocci, Crypto SVT.SI, Eric Parr, Dig the Voice, at Dig the Voice, sorry, for the people, HPDSouthBay.com, and Daniel A. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon subscribers. Thank you to everybody who's clicked the affiliate links down below. Thank you to everyone who watches my videos but aren't subscribed. 50% of you are not subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button. YouTube actively unsubscribes people. Um, so make sure, just scroll down a little bit, guys. That's all you got to do. Like, just scroll down just a tad. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. All right, we have 1188 days to the next Bitcoin block have it, guys. That timer's ticking down whether you like it or not. And it looks like the markets are on fire. Bitcoin hopefully is going to cross 40k here soon. Ethereum is breaking all time highs, heading up to uh, almost 2000. Polkadot's up 13%, XRP's up 10.4%, uh, Cardano almost at 50 cents. That's great to see. We're just going to need one more little push. One more little eh. And I think that the bull run can be explosive. So we have UMA up almost 40%. Looks like altcoins are doing quite well indeed. Not too many are down. I've been blabbering on for long enough, guys. I love each and every one of you. I want you to know that. Thank you for listening to me blabber on all day, <laughs> I mean, for 20 minutes each day for almost a year. It's almost been a year I've been making videos on YouTube, and uh, I I love it. I want this to be my full time job one day. I'm working hard to make that a reality. I don't want to be a wage slave anymore. Um, it's it's really eating at my soul having to you know work for somebody else. Um, and that's something I think about often. You know, it, it gets me gets me a little bit sad sometimes. But you know what? I didn't have you know parents that you know, taught me financial, uh, financial, uh, hygiene or whatever it's called financial literacy. I had to learn it all on my own in a relatively short period of time. So I'm still learning. I'm still a young entrepreneur. I'm still trying to get out here and make, make the, make a way for myself and my family. But, you know, it's, it's tough, you know, going to a soul sucking job every day. And, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys can, can, uh, you know, relate to my situation. I love each and every one of you guys. And one day, you know, this will be my only job. I'll be on YouTube all day, live streams, craziness. It's going to be awesome. And, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it with a better, with a better set of family. And that's all you guys. I'm getting sentimental and getting emotional for some reason. Anyway, I love each and every one of you. Don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I will talk to you tomorrow.